This isn't your home. What are you talking about? This is the Umbrella Academy. This is the Sparrow Academy. All right, Love your YouTube channel. Hi, Mom. Sorry, I just have to mention. It. You know, we we lo well listen. We love our fans, and I'll tell you what: if you go in and you search Watch Mojo top superhero teams, you're gonna find the Umbrella Academy on that list. I'm for Umbrella and Academy. Number twenty, the Umbrella Academy. I had all these questions, but now I'm I'm seeing a bird, and it's just cleared my cleared my brain. Uh, does it have a name, by the way? That bird. Memory wipe. This is the most industrious cockatoos in all of Hollywood called Shaka. Wow. It's a herb crusted. <laughs> So herb encrusted cockatoo. Herb encrusted. Sulfur was a herb. Tom, talk to me about uh, about Luther because I've seen uh, a few episodes of season three of Umbrella Academy and really enjoying it, by the way. Great stuff. I feel like your character, well, you tell me. I feel like there's an evolution here. There's something, there's some new stuff with Luther. Talk, talk to yeah. us about that. Once Luther learns that we don't really have anything to worry about in this timeline, when five explains to them it's like well you have to worry about doppelgangers but apart from that we we're pretty much good i think luther goes okay well i don't really have any responsibilities here now so i can just kind of be me and that's the first time he's ever been able to do that and i think quite quickly he's like i could get used to this i feel like i know these characters now because this is our third go around and i'm curious and I'm cu i'll pose it to all of you if there's any aspects of your character's personality that rings true in real life David, is there, a, is there a little bit of Diego in you? Yeah, I mean, of course. But, uh, you know, it's like, it's more about me in Diego. Um, oh. Because there's a lot of warmth. <laughs> deep, deep. You know, I mean, I'm just saying what Justin's been saying, but I don't make fun of him when he says it. <laughs> Which is like, you have to bring some truth to it, right? But like the fact that Diego can dance, I can dance. The fact that Diego wants to be a good father, I want to be a good father. The fact that he hates his siblings, but also loves them and respects them, I'm the same way. So there's a lot of elements, but it's more just amplified with Diego, I think. Uh, what about you? Is there, is there a lot of Ben and Justin? Yeah, I mean, that guy's pretty much me. I mean, <laughs> what can I say? I'm a dickhead. 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 No, this, this, this one was a, a slight stretch for me, but it was a lot of fun. It was a challenge in that way. And yeah, I, I, as David just said, I think parts of myself get imbued into Ben naturally as an actor. I am very loyal. I, I'm, you know, I'm kind of a ride or die for my my family and my friends. If you're in my inner circle, I will literally do anything for you. And I think Allison, um, Allison is the same, which I think was, is really interesting this season because we kind of see a shift in her in that way, which was really fun to play with. What do you think was the key uh, for this particular season to keep things nice and fresh and, and captivating for audiences? Well, I'm glad you feel it, it, it's still fresh. I think what we did this year, you know, and I sat down with the writers, we really wanted to put a common enemy against the umbrellas, something very close to home and see what our umbrellas did. So, you know, we have the sparrows, who were raised by the same dad in their houses, in their bedrooms upstairs, and see them, the umbrellas have to come together as a family to deal with this. And it's all personal because, you know, even though they're not big fans of Reggie, but it's still like, you know, this is our, our turf. So it was a fun idea to see a family on family uh, showdown. We're introducing this group called the Sparrows, Sorry. right? Um, Talk to me about the dynamic offset. I'm picturing a feud now. I'm picturing the actors that were in the Umbrella Academy and then the Sparrows and you're at opposite sides of the set and it's kind of, am I right about that? The, the, the Sparrows are the enemies and the Umbrellas are the goodies. Yes, I agree. Did they put the cast chairs on different sides? I feel like they might have, but I don't quite remember. <laughs> Sorry. They, se they separated <laughs> you guys for real. Get that intensity. That intensity. Really method, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, no. I love it. Um, is there an initiation, by the way, that you guys do for new new actors that come in? Yeah, we basically put them in a in a big in a big sack, and we kidnap them and we take them to uh, the Could beach you imagine and <laughs> no. we cover them in no. applesauce and make and them flamingos too. Robert, is there like an initiation for like new cast members? Yeah, they all have to stand in a line with the blindfold on. And then we we cattle prod each of them, but we, do, we oh, don't tell them which body part they're going to get cattle prodded in. Might be the ankle, might be the ear. You know what I mean? Who knows? That's part of the fun of the ministry. Oh, yeah! 
one of my favorite things about the show is the music, uh, what we like to call a, a nice little needle drop. Yeah. Uh, the, Umbrella, the Umbrella Academy's got the best in the biz, in my opinion. I, I write it into the, the scripts. I, I, I love music, I listen to a lot of music, so sometimes I'll hear a song, I'll say, I don't know where, but I want that song in the show. Sometimes I'll be writing a scene and it will inspire me to get a, a song. But I've also now sort of told my writers to do the same thing. So the writers are now putting music into their scripts. Once it's all done, I compile it and then I like a playlist. And I work with Jen Malone who's an incredible music supervisor. And sometimes she say, you know, we can do better than that. Everybody else can see Ben, right? Yeah, and he's a complete dickhead. They're all dickheads. Is there a song that you would love to see added in to the show that hasn't yet? Aiden, start Sharpest with you. Sharpest Lives by MCR. Uh, it's a fun beat. It would work for a fight scene, and it has the line in it, when it rains, it pours, or it has something like that. And yeah, just all around, I think that'd be awesome for the show. I'm gonna go with Monte Carlo by Remy Wolf. I'm obsessed with that song at the minute. I love Lucy, I'm Ricky Ricardo. Uh, one of the things I love about TV shows is sometimes you can, they can meet up. You can invade other shows. They don't do it as often now, but I'm wondering what show would you like the Umbrella Academy to infiltrate? You know, you call it the crossover. I just watched a show uh, called Tokyo Vice, uh, Michael mm. Mann. Mm. And I mm. think that, uh, loved it. that, yeah, I really loved it. And there was something about that kind of uh, Japanese world that I'm like, oh, I wish the Umbrellas would kind of immerse themselves into that culture. I would love to invade Stranger Things. I think they'd all get along really, really well. I'd love to see what, how that plays out. Everyone's got Amazing. power, let's all the powers and Eleven and her powers. I think it would be a lot of fun. Thank you so much, it's been so much fun. Thank you so much. Only on Netflix. Thank you so much, by the way. Been looking for you. Spoiler alert. <laughs>